If you dismiss Chain Soldier as just another shallow, etchy, wacky anime, you're missing out on a truly entertaining show that deserves a chance. While fan service is baked into it, it is not the only point of the show. Chain Soldier understands that anticipation is the best thing about meeting your lover and bakes this anticipation right into the premise of the show. By building tension through creative means, Chain Soldier provides a more engaging, etchy experience, if you will. The show introduces a world where portals have opened up allowing interdimensional monsters called Shuki to attack Earth. The portals also bring with them mysterious peaches. Eating these peaches give the ladies special powers. A few of them join an elite military force called the Demon Defense Force to battle the monsters. One fine day, our hero stumbles into this world and willingly becomes the slave of a commander to fight alongside Demon Defense Force. Now our hero, Yuki, must transform and lend his powers to the commander whenever a fight breaks out. And then, um, he receives intimate, uh, rewards from her after each battle, based on what his subconscious desires. The rewards, of course, are in proportion to the, uh, service provided. That is to say, the more wonderful the action, the more wonderful the fan service. Despite some noticeable animation quality issues, the fight choreography is impressively executed with an eye for dynamic camera work and varied perspectives. From the very first battle, it's clear the creators had fun conceptualizing diverse powers for the characters to wield, from a shape-shifting sword specialist to a sniper expert. The constant variety in how the abilities manifest keeps you engaged and curious about what jaw-dropping ability will appear next. Oh, the use of the Time Stop ability is as good as anything in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and the transformations and abilities don't just feel like generic magic powers, but a fully fleshed out system with distinct rules and limitations that create strategic depth. That said, Chain Soldier isn't just kinetic battles and etchy elements, it also develops a competent narrative backdrop. There are already hints at deeper themes such as institutionalized slavery, power imbalances, and the struggles of the disenfranchised that give the story more pathos. I hope these are mined into in future seasons. The fan service is integrated in a way that, mostly, doesn't distract from the quality storytelling. And even then, Chain Soldier exercises some admirable restraint by focusing more on sexual tension rather than just mindless titillation. If anything, you're left wanting more. The show is a tease in the best way possible. Chain Soldier is proof that etchy anime can aspire to be more than just cheaply pandering. Admittedly, the animation quality is a bit inconsistent, with some sketchy production value sticking out against the crisp Sakuga cuts of the highlight battles, and the fan service definitely crosses boundaries that some will find too off-putting at times, despite the respect it shows towards all kinds of kink. That said, if you are not averse to the lurid content, this is a surprisingly thoughtful portal fantasy with more depth than many a isekai trash. If it can maintain this level of quality while fleshing out its narrative ambitions, this could develop into a standout series. Chain Soldier's first season is a confident opening salvo that leaves you eagerly anticipating what twisted surprises await next.